the touchdown for the moment. Flag is thrown to the 11-yard line. Could it be a helmet-to-helmet -helmet kind of hit? The first flag. Let's take a look at what. Wait for Ron Torbert to make the call here. Crowd silent for the moment. Rams are beginning to walk back. Havenstein, is the call on him? And so many times, Al, we see when the quarterback scrambles outside. There were two fouls during the play, one by each team. Holding offense number 79. Dead ball, personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense number 24. By rule, those fouls offset will repeat first down. That's Von Bell. And three of the penalties on Cincinnati have been unsportsmanlike conduct, personal foul, killer in this instance. Offsetting a minute and 38, first and goal. A ton of stuff going on here, obviously, and the clock and trying to figure out you would love to take a little time off and score a touchdown in a perfect world but right now I think all you can think about is scoring a touchdown Akers in the backfield with Stafford rolling and throwing an incomplete and here come flags all over the place Apple is there covering cup and you got two flags on the play most likely for the same infraction. Grab there, there. yeah, there's this is a grab the of the jersey. Now, when did that happen? With the ball in the air or not? Yes, it was. Defense number 20. My rule, the ball will be placed at the one yard line. Automatic first down. So the penalties now playing a huge part in this one. This one here, the missed call on Ramsey. A minute and 35, and it's first and goal. But just remember, regardless, the Bengals with plenty of timeouts here. And each team, all three. Akers is the running back. Stafford's going to keep it himself. And takes it to maybe the half yard line. So Stafford with Cincinnati taking a timeout. Stafford with two rushing touchdowns in the postseason after none since 2016. So since he takes a timeout with 129. Let's take a look at just how close he came. Not very close at all. No. Well, you would just love to be able to turn around, hand the ball off, and score a touchdown. But, boy, rushing yards have come so tough tonight for the Rams. 44 rushing yards on 22 carries. Jalen Ramsey over there getting ready for one thing. Aaron Donald, same thing, knowing they're going to have to go make a stop. This is the 15th play of the drive. Four runs, 10 passes. Second and goal. Pass. Cut. Got it. Touchdown. Cooper's wife, Anna, the family. This guy has had some year. Al, I've got to tell you, in a pressure situation, I don't know if I have ever seen anybody be better than Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup. They had no choice. That was the entirety of their passing game, and they got it done for the go-ahead touchdown. Match made in heaven. The two get together every morning at 6 o'clock over a ton of stuff. Huge play to win the game against Tampa Bay setting up the field goal and the Rams take a three-point lead here. I love it when people who work this hard get rewarded. Remember, that was the fourth down play 
pick up the first down. I don't care. I'm finding Cooper Cup wherever he might be. Matthew Stafford just kept looking in one direction. And then when it all mattered most, do I trust my running game from one yard out? I trust Cooper Cup more. Cooper Cup, whose father and grandfather both played in the National Football League. Wow, what a drive. Eastern Washington, Rams got him in 2017, the year that McVay took over, third round pick. And I can promise you the Cincinnati Bengals and their attitude and their confidence on this team, they're not thinking about going down and kicking a tying field goal. They're thinking about going down and scoring the game-winning touchdown. But they would take a game time field goal. They the would The circumstances indeed. evolve. I'm just telling you. Yeah, right. This team believes that they can do anything. They've been down before a lot. 21-3 at one point in KC two weeks ago. And Burrow will take over at the 25-yard line in Cincinnati has two timeouts and a minute and 25 seconds. And Aaron Donald sprinted on the field. First one out. Normally you want your crowd, your home crowd, to get into it. This crowd's about half and half. And we're going to get Jalen Ramsey on Jamar Chase. At the top, it's that way. Chase makes the grab and picks up a lot more yardage. So Ramsey try, trying to jump it. Chase got it, picks up some extra yardage, gain of 17. Any way you can get the ball in the hands of one of the most dynamic playmakers in the NFL, you do it. Last second move, last second adjustment, and it got Ramsey, who's had a Bit of a rough go, although the one clearly was not his fault. Here's the overload again. At the 42. Put pressure on. That pass is caught. Boyd makes the grab. At the 49-yard line, Eric Weddle in on the tackle. Clock going down to a minute, a little over that. Good block that time by P. Ryan. We've seen the linebackers coming through and getting to Joe Burrow. Not that time, P. Ryan with a good block. Second and one. Burrow deep downfield and nothing happening down there. That's Chase and Ramsey. Third and one. 48 seconds. <laughs> There is McPherson, who's had a perfect postseason with an enormous amount of confidence. Comes into the couple of playoff games. Hey, we're, we're moving on, is what he basically says. And the clutch last time, it was T. Higgins, who they brought across the middle of the field with that big body, throw it high, let him go get a rebound. Instead on the ground and close. P. Ryan, does he get the first down? Down judge comes in, says Cincinnati's going to take a timeout because he doesn't. Clock stops 43 seconds, and here's your ball game on a fourth and one. Aaron Donald, as he's done so many times, we think about him as the pass rusher. Look at that hand extended, just jamming him up, and then not letting P. Ryan fall forward for that first down. And that's why people say he's the best player in the league. And you've seen that in the second half. No argument from me. Fourth and one. Morris calling the defense. Donald right there. They'll go from the gun. P. Ryan in the backfield. Burrow trying to keep it going, gets spun down, gets it away, and incomplete. It looked like P. Ryan might have had a shot to make the grab, but the Rams now running down to celebrate with a defensive play. And guess who? Guess who? I mean, you don't even have to think about it. 
do not even have to think about it. Pointing to the ring finger. When everything was on the line for the Rams, everything. Yes, we know it was Aaron Donald, but we also know it was Cooper Cup. So the two superstars on both sides of the ball for the Rams, when everything's on the line, they are the guys one Point. more time, and he's saying, right there is where I want my ring. That's the only thing missing in his career. Talked about it for the last two weeks. Gave an impassioned speech when they were down in the San Francisco game. So the Bengals can take one time out. I will never forget that Rams drive with Matthew Stafford having nobody to get the ball to and just force feeding Cooper Cup all the way down the field to take the lead. And Cincinnati will not spend that final timeout. They'll let the Rams exult. Sean McVay gets the Gatorade bath after five seasons. Cooper Cup, phenomenal. Stafford gets the job done. Whitworth at age 40. Aaron Donald, we go back to the fact that Michelle was saying before the game, he's thinking about retiring. This could be the end. We don't know. But the Rams were built to win the Super Bowl, and they have sealed the deal. Nothing comes easy. This was a team seven and one at one point, rolling seven and four. They went 35 days without a win, three losses and a bye week. Roll down the stretch. Odell Bickham Jr., even though he's in civvies at the end, big first half, he gets a ring. It's a long way from Cleveland to the Lombardi Trophy. And for Joe Burrow, might not be the last time we see him in the big game. Let's go to Michelle. Aaron, <laughs> obviously emotional. What's the immediate feeling you're, you've got right now? I, I'm just so happy. I wanted this so bad. I dreamed this, man. I dreamed this, and it's like, it's surreal. Look at this. Look at this, man. This is, I feel amazing. I feel amazing, man. I feel great. What did you see on that last play that enabled you to do what you did and make that stop? Strain, strain, you know, one last play. To be world champs, give it everything you got. I found the way to get to them. We made a play and we won. That's all that matters. So you talked about the confetti, the feeling. I know you're gonna get a chance to hug that Lombardi trophy that you've wanted to hug for so long. How does this measure up to what you thought it might be like, Aaron? This is the best feeling in the world, man. I, I, God is great. God is great. I just I'm, I'm lost the word. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm just, this is a blessing. This is a blessing. You had talked about wanting to possibly call it a day and retire after this. What do you think? I'm in a moment. I'm going to just enjoy this right now with these guys. When my kids come on the field. This is the promise I made to my daughter when she was five. So we're going to play in the confetti for a minute, man. And I'm just going to live in a moment. So. Congratulations, Aaron. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Catherine Tappen. All right, Michelle, thank you, Matthew. Congratulations. This was what you came to Los Angeles to do. Can you describe the emotions of this moment? Uh, I'm just I'm so proud of this team. Um, there's so many guys on our team that deserve this. Um, so many great players, guys that have just given their heart and soul to this team, guys that are either playing in this game or not, um, you know, because of injury or whatever it is. But I'm just so proud of this group. I mean, that game today is the story of our season. You know, it's up and down. It's tough. You know, we're a freaking tough team. Showed up late and uh, got it done. I'm just, I'm excited. What gave you the confidence on that final scoring drive with the, the chemistry between you and Cooper Cup? Oh, I mean, that's hard work. That's, that's hours together. Um, you know, I just thank Coach for putting it. Hey, Matthew, you and Coop go get this thing done. He kept calling plays for him. Kept finding ways to get him the ball. He made unbelievable plays. That's what he does. 
Um, I'm just so proud of this team. It's, it's such a team victory. Our defense played outstanding. Special teams timely and big when we needed it. Uh, such a great, such a great game. Can you, can you tell me about this team and what makes it special? I think the way we pull for each other. You know, we work, we work together every single day. We, we sharpen each other's skills playing against us. I mean, I get to go against that defense every day. How can you not get better? Um, I hope they feel the same way about us. But man, we just, we care for each other. You know, and that start, that starts top down. Sean does an unbelievable job of connecting with all of us as players, leading the way. We follow his lead, and uh, we're here now. Matthew Stafford, Super Bowl champion. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Al. All right, thank you, Catherine. Man, I'll tell you what, at the end, the stars came out. They all did. You got Stafford. You got Cup on this long drive. Gets position. Makes the catch. And then on defense, third and one. Who else? 99 right there. And then on fourth down. Spins Burrow around. Gets the sack, even though he was able to get it away. He's going to get his ring, and he deserves it. What a career. Burrow walking away, but a great season for Joe. Took this team a lot farther than anybody thought. Who knew what the odds were the Bengals would even get there. Andrew Whitworth, will he play again? We don't know. At 40 years old. The NFL Man of the Year. A lot of hugs, a lot of tears. And the Samsung Galaxy postgame coming up.